All right, I keep it positive on this show. You guys know that. Uh, today is late, by the way. Date night with the lady. It happens twice a week. Sorry, I did not get a guest today, but uh, it's okay. This is, this is, you know, a normal day. No V-Bucks, no Mythic Lead, no Upgrade Llama Tokens. We've got two legendary survivors, and I don't even know where they are. I am recording this before I've prepped my notes. This is everything I have to say today. I'm well prepared, but honestly, it's so chill. This is going to be a quick video anyway that I'm just going to go through live with you guys. we got a couple of new festival emotes in BR. We'll check them out in the shop later on, but if you want to use code MISSAGE to check out, go ahead and pick it up. It is, uh, you know, probably not the most entertaining thing. A lot of people don't really like the uh, festival stuff, but you know what? I'm going to shout it out anyway. Let's see here. we got 4X Lightning the Bottle. The 46 4 player. Okay. All right. Then we got a great mission. Ceiling Electric Field and Broadside are both fantastic traps and a 58 resupply. Not a bad mission. A lot of you guys really, really liked my starting on a new account video, and I'm glad. That was a blast to make, and I think it turned out really well. It's one of my best videos in a long time, I'm sure. Uh, the only to be immediately topped by my Witcher 3 upload today. Yeah, I did a hard fight, and I wanted to share it with you guys. I'm a gamer. All right. I might be like a professional save the world content creator, but like, I played Witcher and I did a hard fight. I, I'm not going to not post that. I'm a gamer, okay? But tomorrow, I I really don't want to do my 160s. I mean, real talk. I do not need Survivor Superchargers. This is exciting to anybody who's not max level. I am. So I might put a lot of time on the new account tomorrow when I'm streaming. Twitch link down below. So yeah, I might be... Uh, I'm not sure that I'm going to make it to the 58 zones tomorrow. That's unlike, that's not how Ventures works, but maybe somebody, no, I don't want help though. Yeah, so I might miss out on this mission, but if you are in that range, it's a great one to pick up. 4X perk up in the 58 four player. Let me get my notes here, see if we can stay on track. 4DB on the side is always very helpful for these. Uh, okay, epic perk up in a couple of missions. Not too bad if you guys are really trying to get that scraped together. Purple broads, uh, purple ceiling a trap, and not that, not that exciting. We'll be getting that in a different uh, location here. Okay, we got broadside. Okay, the cannonballs bounce people. Very, very good damage. Then we've got this mission. Where is it? I see the vacuum tube spear. That's very good. I'm looking forward to this mission right here. Siege breaker, very good AR. Honestly, it's base game, easy to pick up, available all the time, and it's a really strong weapon, even in the end game. 4X perk up in the 124 four player. Legendary survivor number one out of two. Not too bad. Then we got 4X reperk and uh, just uh, normal 140s. So pretty solid. I've seen this commented uh, recently. 240X is a visual bug. It's 240 times one. Sorry, not that exciting, but uh, yeah. Thank you so much to Pokey, by the way, for joining. I pinged him in Discord, and uh, he wanted me to... He he, uh, he didn't want me to do anything. I picked him in Discord and he joined. Uh, like, it's super late. Uh, it's, we're way after shop and he did not have to do that. So thank you for joining. Legendary Survivor in the 88 zone. Number two out of two available today. Oh boy. Then we've got the Thrasher. One of the best SMGs in the entire game. Uh, there was one available recently and I forgot to comment on it and nobody cared because this thing is available often. Like, it's too strong of a weapon for me to ever intentionally not, not mention it. But... It's available so regularly that I don't even know if anybody's excited about that anymore. Is there anybody in the comment section who's even going after Thrashers anymore? I can understand that getting all four elements with Affliction without wanting to spend Core Reaper can be kind of an RNG grind. So some of you might still be on that, but damn. Ceiling Drop Trap in the 116 zone. As mentioned, we have a legendary copy, so there it is. Then the 116, okay, 4X perk up, not too bad. 4X reperk in the 124 four player, Clax, love to see it. 4X reperk, yeah, Clax in the uh, 132 four player. One of the best melees in the entire game. Yeah, that mental switch of... So, in my mind, Clax has been classed under SMG uh, when I'm speaking now, and that it's driving me absolutely crazy. It is a melee Clax is very strong. 4X Epic Perk up, as mentioned earlier. Nice to farm that, and 4X Reperk is good as well. Then we've got the Elegant Scythe, not too big deal. 4X Perk up in the 144 player, and uh, Epic Perk up, I suppose. 160s, let's see. I'll call that a 3 out of 5. All right, 5X drops of rain. It's an evac, so it's slow, but rain is always nice. Wall Dynamo, excellent wall trap. Great uh, energy and nature damage. Uh, 5X Eye of the Storm is solid as well. 5X Light in a Bottle, easy modifiers. Yeah, all of these are good. If you guys want to get your Supercharger this week, any of these, run them 10 times, would be good to do. Uh, um, I'll be skipping it, but, you know, I uh, I pounced on a lot of Survivor Superchargers to make it a max level. I get to relax now. I get to relax. 
Uh, let's see here. A lot of basic weapons available today in Canny. The only thing that's really interesting of note is the floor freeze trap. Excellent. Freezes enemies. They take extra damage. They can stagger them in the correct direction if you place it properly. So if you're facing your objective and they freeze, they'll stagger away from your objective, basically towards your back. Um, and that also applies to the uh, tire traps as well. So it's actually a pretty important thing to place correctly. Floor spikes, you can just put them wherever, kind of. Some people like to stagger them every other tile, but if it pricks and then it's on cooldown and then a big bigger target walks over it I don't like that so yeah sometimes I'll use them I don't think they're incredibly needed but most traps aren't if you find a way to trap you can figure it all out so wooden floor spikes are good 4x drops rain the 19.4 player not too bad okay a little bit of early rain for the newbies out there always appreciate it and 4x green perk up which you might never need to grind in your life not readily available and then we got stonewood so i feel like an earlier version of me would have been excited about a blue bazooka but as you guys might have seen in my first episode already i have found that looting weapons off of glowing animals from the normal location storm chest target practice uh, whatever those weapons you just get are going to be better than any weapon you can make for a while. So I don't think, given that, there is any excuse to ever actually craft and use a blue weapon. I think you can just find a purple one so damn easily now that it's not even not even necessary. And I mentioned in my uh, in my starter video, you guys should definitely watch it if all of this is new to you. You can't reperk weapons until Plankerton SSD 2. And I remember that specifically because I really wanted to reperk weapons. I really wanted to get right into it when I was a new player. And none of my friends could figure out why I couldn't reperk my weapons. But yeah, Plankerton SSD 2 is when it unlocked. So by the time you actually can craft your own weapons, you're already into Plankerton a little bit. And those weapons are not going to be very good. You might be able to reperk, but 600 reperk to a power level. 20 is so much that is so much reperk that is not worth it on like a random weapon like changing one perk to a different thing you know if you've already got a crit damage perk and a little bit of crit rating on there is good i guess but i do mean a little bit you're not going to get it past like maybe green perk up i don't even think you get blue perk up until canny so all i'm saying is that the weapons you loot in the wild are going to be way better than anything you can make yourself until you're into canny valley that's a really eye-opening revelation. That means you could just save up all of your evolution materials, all of your schematics, maybe flux them down the line, but probably not really wanting to do that. It's just an interesting way to look at the game. And uh, starting on a new account has given me all of these uh, insights that I just never considered before. So, yeah, I guess I could have covered this sooner. Sorry, Demon Gamer, but uh, Inferno Dungeon Daily, if you guys want to go ahead and uh, take care of that. And then it's a uh, Super Melee Lama. You should never buy those. So, yeah. Uh, thank you to every person using my code. Um, I appreciate it. Archer and Stockings are out here getting all the love, but that's okay. It's, it's cool to see people getting their codes used. And uh, you know what? There are a couple in here. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. It. love the casual setup by the way i dig it you know it is strictly speaking very nice to have high refresh rate panels at a desk with a keyboard and mouse but nothing beats leaning back in bed like i am sitting here with four 180 hertz panels and a 360 in the middle and yet what i'm going to do after this video is go to my bed and play on my switch <laughs> sometimes it's all about the game you're playing and not how it's being ran throne breaker in case you were curious i am super into throne breaker and i think i'm the only person in the world so yeah these are the new emotes you know copyrighted music can't really share it pretty cool if you're in a festival but uh is there even any music with this probably not maybe it's a link to whatever song you're playing at the time i don't even know dude I don't even know. I don't get to hear any of it anymore. Thank you guys so much for watching. Super casual daily because it wasn't, you know, a very exciting daily, but that's okay. It's nice to just sit down and chat with you guys because daily means daily. Even if I'm super late and there's barely anything to talk about, I show up. That's my commitment to this series. So uh, thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, factor plug at the end here. Nobody signed up. I'm embarrassed, but I actually like the product. Honestly, you get ready-made food sent straight to your door. You just heat it up in the microwave throughout the week. It was actually so nice that I kind of got hit by a truck today mentally where I was like, oh, shit, I'm out of food. <laughs> I was like, oh. I need to do something and I'm still a HelloFresh customer. So I've been uh, doing that. Also, same company, by the way, my HelloFresh arrived in a factor van recently. That was pretty cool. So I like factor. It's a good deal. You can get 50% off and uh, that goes a long way towards uh, the discount, of course. And then your next four boxes are 20% uh, off and uh, not having to cook is kind of nice. All right, that's it. I'm out of here.